Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the DJI Osmo Action Mini extension, the one that actually becomes a tripod. In my last unboxing video for the DJI Osmo Action 4, the Adventure Combo Pack, you saw me unbox this and I did get this extension rod as well. It came in the Adventure Combo Pack and I thought that this will be able to stand on its own so that if I'm ever out there taking videos and I want to, you know, like make this stand so that it can record me out on the road, I thought this would be able to do it, but I realized the hard way that this doesn't actually stand properly. And even a wind is strong enough to knock it down, especially when the camera is mounted on the top, the Action 4. So what I decided was because I'm heading to the Karen strip, I thought I'll get the extension rod that actually turns into a tripod. So this is the one that I got. It's the DJI Osmo Action Mini extension rod. It cost about 75 Australian dollars. So it already comes with the adapter on top. So you don't need to have this one right here. This right here is for the extension rod, which doesn't become a tripod. So all you do is you screw it on, but for the extension rod that actually becomes like a tripod, you don't need to because it has a bald head. So let me unbox this for you and show it to you what you get. There's nothing fancy, nothing more. It's just one rod that you get and that's it. Then the box is empty. So let's take this out. So here you have it. You have the Osmo branding and the DJI branding, and this is a ball head. And then this does extend, but this doesn't extend to the lengths that the extension rod does. This extension rod right here goes up to 1.5 meters. This right here is considerably less because the main purpose of this is to become somewhat like a tripod. So this extends up to here. This is the maximum as you can see right here. But the benefit is that if you unfold the legs right here, if you take it out like this, it can actually stand like this. And then you will have like a whole tripod, like a setup. So if you're ever out and you need to record yourself and you want this to stand perfectly fine, then you need to have this. And all you have to do is you mount this on the top. And for that, what you need to do is you need to take the existing mount out and then you press on the sides here to fit it perfectly, both sides. And once you do that, then it magnetically attaches and then you just let go and then you're sorted and you can make it stand like this and wind is not going to be able to knock it down. So it's going to be easy. And when you don't want to, you know, use it in a tripod mode, you just do it like this and it's nice and compact so you can record yourself and you can you know pretty much vlog and record whatever you want with this this is kind of big and heavy this right here is considerably less weight if i'm weighing this side by side let me get a scale i think i have a scale i'll be right back let's weigh the extension rod first only the extension rod so it's about 158 grams and don't forget that when you do the setup with the extension rod and say you also add the Osmo Action because it would be mounted on top. So let's add this. And you would have to have this attachment because without this attachment, you can't actually, you know, attach and mount it. So you need this as well. So let's add this in as well. And then obviously after you attach it, you need to screw in, right, in this setup. So you need to have the screw as well. So let's put this in as well so we get the total weight. So the total weight is 333 grams. If you're a pounds guy, then you can convert it by using Google, but this is the total weight. Now, to measure how much this weighs, let's do this. It simply attaches like this. You don't need any screws whatsoever for this setup. So 333 grams versus, let's do this. 259 grams so it is more lighter and you do get a little bit of reach and you get more flexibility because the leg becomes a tripod so yeah if you have a dji osmo action 4 or the osmo action 3 i think you are better off getting the osmo action mini extension rod and this is the one that becomes a tripod any store that you go to, just ask them, I just want an extension rod that has the ability to become a tripod and you're gonna be good. And for those of you who are asking me about the quality of the DJI Osmo Action 4, including the audio quality without using any external microphone, 
this is it. So I'm recording at 4K 30 frames per second. I'm not using any external mics and I'm currently in my balcony. So it is kind of noisy with a lot of the cars, you know, like 25 stories down, just moving around, honking. So I don't think it's picking that up because I'm constantly speaking. So I think it's prioritizing my voice. There's a tram noise heading like a couple of meters that way to my left. So it's still sounding good, I hope. So this is the video quality that you can expect. I have not done any sort of, you know, color grading or filters used, nothing like that. This is basically 4K 30 frames per second from the Osmo Action 4. So yeah, that's been it. I just wanted to, you know, share about this. So anyone who's interested, they need to get this. If they want more flexibility, it's gonna be much more beneficial than the extension rod. So I guess I'll end this right here. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace.